the comparison between ayahuasca religions with other religions because to better clarify the role of the ayahuasca, the psychedelic beverage, and their effects. I would like to, know, to acknowledge CAPS, uh, the Coordinação de Aperfeiçoamento de Pessoal de Nível Superior from Brazilian Ministry of Education for funding the travel of, uh, to the US. Thank you very much. This, this little booklet that was a revision of the ayahuasca biography and we have noticed that um, in Brazil you have a large development of the field of ayahuasca studies in more anthropology and uh, human sciences and we have still very little uh, uh, ayahuasca research on more psychological studies or biomedical uh, research and your study is uh, perhaps one of the few studies that are done in Brazil uh, with this dialogue more to health sciences. There's not a lot, but there is an increase in this uh, interest in Brazil recently. There is more people studying uh, ayahuasca from this point of view. And here in this conference, you also see lots of flourishing studies on these health areas. So I wonder if you have any comment on, on the development of, of the field of studies of ayahuasca and maybe something about Brazil and other countries, or how have you we have been colleagues for 10 years. He Warm. was uh, helping me organize my first conference. So we are growing older and uh, attending conferences together. A lot has been studied. So I wonder how do you see this development of the field that is also the development of our personal careers? OK. Uh, first of all, I don't think there's little, um, few works on psychological and psychiatric uh, evaluation of ayahuasca in Brazil. There is a, the group of UNIFESP that made some psychological evaluations in adolescents in DV, and there is uh, initiation that in USP, a new group initiated uh, uh, some preclinical studies, and they intend to increase this for epidemiological studies concerning psychiatric and psychological symptoms in ayahuasca users. But I, I would like to establish with other people which work in psychiatry and psychology and public health a kind of agenda because the epidemiological studies has much uh, have much to talk to the clinical studies that uh, has to be done in the future uh, and uh, another agenda would should include the comparison the trans transcultural comparisons of uh, the ayahuasca users in Brazil uh, in different parts of Brazil, because it's, it's very different between the, the different areas of Brazil, Europe, Japan, Euro, uh, and United States. And that's it. One more question? Uh, I have a question. Thank you very much for that. I enjoyed it. It was very interesting. I, I for one, wasn't bored. Um, <laughs> I wonder if you, because as you identified towards the end, there's also in these religious ceremonies a social aspect to... Yes. Could you speak slower? Oh, yeah. I wonder if, um, as you identified towards the end, there's also a social aspect to the uh, process that people are going through when they take part in an ayahuasca ceremony. I wonder if you um, have looked at, planned to look at, or have any hunches about what takes place in cases where people attend the ceremony but don't take the ayahuasca. And also, if, there, if you think there might be any correlation in people's uh, changes in the different measures based on the intensity of the ayahuasca experience that they're having? Uh, this is a matter of another, another analysis I'm doing right now. It's a part of my PhD thesis which uh, handle only the, the quantitative measures, but I have a qualitative, uh, qualitative part which, which is much more rich and I, I will handle the situations. But you mentioned that people attending to the rituals and not taking ayahuasca, I haven't seen this before. <laughs> this is, I, I, I don't see this. If they attend, they will drink ayahuasca. I would like to thank you for the presentation, which was very interesting. And this is a question that most likely everyone else knows the answer to, but I'm new to all this, so I'm going to ask it anyway. And that is actually two, qu two questions. One is, um, you told us what the results are of your study, but what I would like to hear is, how do you explain the beneficial effect of ayahuasca on the psychological framework of your subjects? How do you explain it to, to yourself? I'm just interested. How do you attribute it? 
And, is, and then number two is, is there any study of ayahuasca and addiction? Thank you. Oh, um, as I told you before, uh, I'm an academic, so uh, I give you explanations, hypothetical explanations based on academic work. Uh, I strongly believe that the psychedelic experience, if the psychedelics are taken in an appropriate setting, they can have beneficial aspects because they enhance creative and mnemonic uh, systems which can uh, help people to have insights about their own lives. That's on point. And that's also a uh, emotional uh, aspect of the psychedelic experience that, that's called uh, psychedelic afterload. It's not a very established uh, conception, uh, but it, it's very common to observe people when they take psychedelics within the appropriate setting, the following days, they feel very good. It's a very frequent phenomenon, both in clinical experimental settings and in, in naturalistic settings. Uh, and I mentioned to you that uh, the ayahuasca religions has, have, uh, have a strong uh, social support and have a strong system of beliefs that help people to handle difficult situations. It's very strong. The ritual of ayahuasca users are, are very strong events. They have very positive messages. They transmit the question of strange, the strength, the strength the question of uh, uh, endurance, uh, the question of uh, being uh, moral issues that help you to not to uh, fall during times of stress and distress, right? The second question was about addiction. There are several observational studies uh, on comparing ayahuasca users with non-ayahuasca users along across some uh, uh, addiction, ad addiction questionnaires. Uh, Darcio Xavier from UFSP, uh, I have collaboration with him, made a, a study with adolescents in UDV. And they have, in fact, they showed a, a better uh, signs of drug abuse than the controls. Uh, Fabregas here, collaborating in a, in a study. We, we did a very large study in Acre, and he will tell us about this tomorrow, uh, comparing several ayahuasca users within religions and controls, and the ayahuasca users have had better scores in these instruments on addiction than the controls. And there are, well, the first study, which, which was made by Charles Grob and colleagues, also uh, suggests that uh, the use of ayahuasca and in the, the religious setting uh, may diminish the or uh, diminish the, the use and abuse and abuse of substance. So there is are also unofficial studies, no academic studies around the world, but I can't I, I can't remember now. Bia, maybe Bia knows better no, about I, this. I just want to, to say that there is a special track about this, uh, like two or three presentations. So if you look in the program. It's there, so it will be continued, this discussion. That's it? Okay, thank you very much.